Shalom. This is Mary Omni from the World Government House of King David, Holy Covenant Constitutional Enforcer. This is a republic notice that asks a question. The question is, is Oprah's statement regarding disrespect of President Obama true? Is Oprah's statement regarding disrespect of President Obama true? In the month of November 2013, the second week, Oprah said to a foreign television station that President Obama is disrespected because he's black. And she also said that uh, we have certain older white folks in this country in southern areas that are permeated and marinated in uh, racism and they will have to die off for anything to change. And she said the movies that are coming out now are addressing and putting on the table and in the face some of the real historical facts about racism in this country, including a mo movie like The Butler and, uh, you know, 12 Years a Slave or, you know, different movies that's coming out now, you know, that's beginning to move towards black folks telling the story of truth because we have been inundated for since the invention of television with whites being everything, all biblical characters, all soap opera characters, all commercial characters, all news reporters, and all this, and this talking image of the beast pretended whites is the only race that existed for quite a long time. And, you know, it's, it's been some MK altered uh, programming to Americans on, on steroids or to those that squatting in America on steroids to prop them up in some artificial privilege, you know? And so, and Hollywood has been a, a political arm of Satan to make sure this jobs get done, to make sure the MK altering to control society as a whole and get them to trample the constitutional blacks was perpetrated. So the Bible, Revelations 22, rather Revelation 22, 11, said, those who are unjust, let them remain unjust. Those who are filthy, let them remain filthy. Those who are righteous, let them remain righteous. And those who are holy, let them remain holy. So at this point, we're past the 12-21-12 alignment. Now, some people was looking for something big to happen, but we did move into a new era or aeon of time. Whether you realize it or not, there was a cosmic alignment within the Milky Way dark rift, and we moved. The earth did a revolutionary process. So we're under a new spin of revolution. Uh, and, and that spin of revolution is a demarcation point where Revelation 22, 11 says, those who are unjust, let them remain unjust. Those who are filthy, let them remain filthy. So when Oprah made the statement, I don't think it's really to try to make the unjust just or the filthy let go of their filthiness. For we're in, we're in the time of judgment. We're in a time of judgment, and a lot of times it's, it, to tell the truth, it's too late for a lot of folks. The, the sheeps and the goats have been separated, and in real truth, they have been separated for quite a long time, okay? The sacrifice and oblation was really cut off in America constitutionally in 1868. That's when King of King, Lord of Lords, and the Father God Almighty put his children as the only citizens in the Constitution. That was his sheep that will be shepherded. And King Ashur rolled in on a mule to make sure anybody who trampled that sheep will be abominators of desolation because the mule would process them as that because the mule was 10 mile radius with no amendments and no one that's not national, can own the mule. 
No state particularly can claim the mule. Only constitutional national citizens own the mule. Okay, because they are citizens within every state they reside because they're constitutional national citizens, okay? The National Monument, the whole 10 mile radius, belong to them. It's their national security to process those who are unjust, those who are filthy, those who are abominator and desolation contracts is processed through the U.S. corporate mule, which don't have one amendment, and that's their mule that came to black Americans. So when Oprah says something like this, it's a sign. It's a sign that she's taking a stand. She's taking a stand. And let that be an opening point where you need to ask yourself, is you straddling the fence? Is you quiet? It's time for you to take a stand. I'm really um, appalled. I'm appalled by so many masses of blacks not supporting uh, First Lady Michelle Obama, especially black women. They need to be way more vocal in her, their support of her. And she should have been enough for them to really stand up in mass and start declaring their constitutionality. Now, my videos is about constitutionality. And to me, even though I've had my issues and I still have my issues with Oprah, at least I can say she's not straddling the fence after the New Earth Revolution. She's not straddling the fence. She's saying point blank to these people, you know, you're, you're disrespecting this president because he's black. That's taking a stand. Because see, that's a major statement by somebody who has had a lot of media exposure around the world, around the world. She has had people know her around the world. And when she makes a statement like this, that is really major. I don't want you to take it lightly because it's really saying that it's time for black folks, black women, to openly tell the world who we are, our constitutional supremacy, declare war on anyone who challenges verbally, spiritually, you know, financially with any way we can by putting my videos that's talking about constitutionality all over the net. If Google and YouTube refuse to do it, you download it and you permeate the net and you make sure it goes to Jamaica, you make sure it goes to Haiti, you make sure it goes to South Africa, you make sure it goes all over the world because it's your constitutionality. As Judah, Judah, the holy covenant heirs, and no one is talking what I'm talking because I'm coming straight from what the kingdom has given me. So if you're so MK ultra that you don't even want to tell the world about your supremacy as Judah in this constitution, then you're still straddling the fence in your MK ultra programming. Because right now the black baby is under attack. And that black baby is the all persons born in the constitution. So you spread my videos about your constitutionality is an act of taking a stance and declaring war and letting the world know they will serve you as the nation of Judah or perish or perish. See, we get so hummed up sometimes in a crab in the basket training and mentality that when the real, the real ace boom coon come to you, you don't know how to react react. And I already told you, they marginalize your constitutionality. So why wouldn't they marginalize my videos that's declaring you Judah, the supreme contractors, whom the world has to serve because the Mashiach, the Hamashiach is born through you. And then you sit back, you sit back like you ain't got to go to war. Let Oprah be a sign. It's time for you to stand up and you do what you can at your fingertips. If you have to spread these videos around, let all know that they serve Judah because my videos is talking about constitutionality. And if you have anything in this country, that's what you have, the supreme contract. So you'll be a fool. You'll be a fool not to go here to war and you, per and you put my videos wherever you can put them at. You let all see them, you let all hear them because they are defending the royal black infant and the nation of Judah and telling all nations they have to serve that. This is how you do war, honey. We at war. We at war. You better hit back. 
You better show the kingdom that you took a stand. You better show the kingdom that you got on the line. You better show the kingdom that you got off the fence. You better show the kingdom that you understood what time it was. You better show the kingdom when signs was there that you understood and was willing to get off the couch, get out of your MK altar, get out of your own personal hang up and begin to defend that black infant, your constitutionality, the holy covenant. You had better get about your father's business. You had better get about your father's business because guess what? You better prove you're worthy of the blood of Christ, your ancestor sacrifice. He he sacrificed too many of his children for this generation, for this generation to see the kingdom come. You had better be about the work and the focus of your father. You had better get your mind focused on your father's work and stop straddling the fence. Stop timing your soul to the mire. Stop acting like you don't understand that you can be charged with treason and sedition. Just like anybody else, stop understanding, stop acting like you don't understand that you've been through slavery so that your father is not playing with you. He never played with you before. He made you do two to three hundred years of slavery under demons because you wanted to time your soul to the mire. And you wanted to act like you didn't know who your daddy was. You keep acting like you didn't know who your daddy was and you ain't getting on the front line to do his work because you all tied up in this world. You better take Oprah as a sign. You better take her as a sign to declare the how Mashiach is born to your nation. And you have the holy covenant supreme contract that's cosmically Fort Knox. Cosmically Fort Knox. You better stop being squeamish about passing my videos around. Tell the world. Tell the world. Get in this war. Because you're going to be attacked whether or not you do. The more vocal you become, the better your blood. The blood, the blood, the blood is your security and insurance. You better declare you're worthy of it. You better declare you're worthy of it. You better get off out of your MK Ultra. You know, you got this man and this woman in this White House. And regardless of what they say, they have been voting evil in all white senators a hundred years. President Obama only been there five years. How he going to be responsible for 450 and 90 years of evil? Get real. This is Mary Omni from the House of King David. Shalom.